Now we've learned that personality measures can help us predict certain behaviors, traits, or patterns, but we haven't seen much carryover on how it affects actual skillful or physical performance. So I put together a reaction task where I had to physically exert myself, but in real time have different checkpoints so I had to internalize what my behaviors and traits felt like in that specific moment. So the reaction task was simple at first, it was just see the light and go, but then I added different variables where I had to little light react with my left hand and big light react with my right hand, then I flip flopped it. Now as you can see, each checkpoint was the red light was about 15 seconds in, blue light was 30 seconds in, and the green light was about 50 seconds and almost done. So I had to internalize what my behaviors and traits felt like in that real moment. And I used three different measures that we have. It's the SPI, which is situational performance identity. There's the MR, which is mistake recovery, and there's GA, which is goal acquisition. Now the SPI, that's how do I feel in that specific situation? How are my traits and behaviors? Now this could be second to second, minute to minute, or even day to day, and that's the beauty of it because these things fluctuate. So if I know the real time measure, this helps me out. Mistake recovery, that's the ability to come back when you mess up. And if you notice, I messed up a few times and I had to really think about it when it was the big light, little light, and I flip flopped it. So I gave myself a little harsher score because I noticed that I was dwindling. And then goal acquisition, this shows us how we're we doing in relation to our goal that we set to pace ourselves as well as the actual outcome because I get an actual reaction time. If you saw, it was about 1.3 when there was no extra stimuli and it was about 1.7, 1.8 when I had the different variables. So you can see, I started rating myself lower, not because I was beating myself up, but I noticed that as the checkpoints went on, I felt myself doing the link and I said, I have to pick it up. So that would keep me constant. Now, even with my heart rate, you can notice that the starting point and the end points would change. And even on the last one, it actually wasn't even the highest heart rate because my physical disposition was getting lower because I was getting more tired and also correlated with my performance as I was getting threes and twos on a scale of one to five, five being the highest. So this is just a working theory, but it's something to consider and I'm gonna look more into it so we can get your mind right.